Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive using a free tool called Witty Tool Disk Clone. So when you run this, Microsoft Defender might flag it as a virus, but that's supposedly because they didn't have official Microsoft authorization to do so. So supposedly it is safe, I've not had a problem with it, but of course just like everything you download from the internet, you need to be careful. So it's up to you if you would like to try it or not. So I'm going to run it here. Say yes. You might get a prompt from Windows the first time you run it saying you're sure you want to run this program. Then you just have to go ahead and allow it. Okay, so it has several options here. You could do backups, uh, cloning. There's some other tools for making a rescue disk and so on. So we're going to do the clone option here. So there's system migration, disk clone. So if you want to just clone a disk, you know, file to file, or just a particular partition from a disk, you could use these two. But if you want to clone Windows, you want to choose the system migration option. All right, so on this computer here, let's go to disk management. All right, so I have the C drive, which is 70 gigs. And then I have a 100 gigabyte drive with unallocated space. So it's just put in there, uh, not configured within Windows at all. So there's no need to do so. So on this step here, you got to make sure you select the correct destination disk, which is going to be the 100 gig disk. You could do a sector by sector, copy, skip bad sectors. Or if you need to change the uh, security ID, you could pick this option. So let's say you're doing this on like a domain or environment at work and you want to make sure you have different security IDs. You could check this option, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm just cloning the same computer to a different drive. All right, so I'll click on next. Okay, so this shows you the target disk layout after cloning. So we're just going to leave it as is. You could adjust it as needed if you want. Start clone. Data on the target disk will be erased. Do you want to continue? Say yes. Make sure you don't have anything on the target disk, the new disk, of course, because it's going to be wiped out. All right, so this will take several minutes, so I'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. Okay, so the disk clone is complete. Didn't take too long. Started at 1117, finished at 1122. Okay, so now I'm going to close this out here. Let's go back to disk management. Okay, you can see we have our 100 gig disk here. System partition, 99 gigs here. Did not create the recovery partition though. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I'm going to now shut down the computer, remove the 70 gig disk, and then boot it with the 100 gig disk. Okay, so we're booted into Windows. Let's go back to disk management. And you can see we just have the 100 gig disk. The 70 gig disk is gone. We'll go to File Explorer. Same thing here. Have all our programs, user accounts, and all that good stuff. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Witty Tool and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.